Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat and it's time to play. Today we're going to take a first look at a game called Airs a Room. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. It's a winter survival game that released in February of 2021. I've been wanting to feature survival games on the channel for quite a while now, and I think this just might be the first one that we're, we're putting on the channel. So let me know what you think, or if you want to see more survival games in the comments. Uh, at the top, I should mention that my request for a review key was granted by the developers, so my thanks go to them for that, and that's how I got the game, so I can put this together for you. Air's Room's been on my radar for a very long time, well before its release, but I haven't been able to get to it until now. Now, by the way, for those new to the channel, if you like learning about new games, many of which are yet to be released, then be sure to check out my first look playlist. I'll pop a link to it in the video description. Okay, then. Well, what is Airs a Room all about? Well, as I mentioned, it's a winter survival simulator, very much in the same genre as The Long Dark, if you're familiar with that one. Okay, now let's take a first look at the game's official trailer. And while that runs, I'm going to read some of the game's description for you. Okay, here we go with the trailer. It wasn't the best idea for Tai Lan, traveling through desolate regions of Erzurum on foot in winter. What he doesn't know yet is that he's about to enter a region affected by a meteor strike. As if harsh conditions weren't enough, more troubles are waiting for him ahead. Erzurum is a winter survival game in which you will struggle against freezing temperatures, the wild nature, hunger, and thirst. You will need to find wood or coal for fires to keep you warm. You'll also need to find beds, food, guns, medical items, and tools to keep yourself alive. The game has three modes. The first one is story mode, which is the one that I've been playing so far. There's also a sandbox mode, which is pretty much uh, endless in the way you can play it. And then lastly, something unique. I haven't seen this really before, but it's like a challenges mode where you can choose various types of challenges to overcome as you play the game. I haven't tried the challenges yet, but they do sound kind of cool. Uh, examples of some challenges include endless storm, colder weather, timed missions, and something called more predators. All of those pretty self-explanatory. Endless storm, colder weather, Timed missions and more predators. I don't know if you can stack them all and do <laughs> and do them all at once. Uh, I haven't tried that yet, but you can check those out. So, and they sound like a good option for extending the gameplay and doing something a little different than just the straight kind of sandbox mode that we're familiar with in a lot of games. Now, Airs a Room, like virtually all winter survival simulators to come, is doomed to be compared <laughs> with or doomed to being compared. To the long dark which is a true classic and innovator in this genre if you're familiar with that game the long dark and from the short amount of time that i've played airs a room i can say that i don't think the game is quite on the same scale as the long dark you know that said i've enjoyed my time playing it and i think if it was my first winter survival game then i'd probably enjoy it even more uh it's not quite as polished in my view as the long dark but uh, the controls were very easy to learn. The scenery and art style looks great, in my opinion. And again, I've had fun playing it. It's not complicated. You're not going to be going to a wiki to uh, figure out what to do next. The crafting is very intuitive. It's all all, all very easy to play. Uh, it's been a long time since I played The Long Dark, but I'll continue to reference that game since it's uh, such a logical game to compare Airs of Room to. And while playing Airs of Room, the Airs of Room campaign, I'd say it wasn't quite as stressful as I remember the long dark being. Like when I was playing Airs of Room, I really had no trouble finding food, rest, or shelter. I even found a couple of weapons pretty early on in the campaign. Now, I did get killed by a bear on my first encounter with one, so it's not completely easy. And you do need to keep aware of your surroundings as you're moving around the map. During the campaign, there can be a lot of uneventful walking across the map. And some of the objectives or missions during the campaign felt to me like they were added just to get you to spend more time in the game uh, and more time walking across the map, that is. 
There are occasions where you come across the point of interest or some predators on the way to your destination, which does add some fun. And I would have preferred a lot more of that in the campaign. Now, I didn't necessarily, I, to be fair, I didn't necessarily need to go from one objective straight to the next in campaign mode. I could have taken a bit more time to just explore and seek out more points of interest as I worked my way to the destination. So it's worth keeping in mind that even in the campaign, you are free to do as you want. It's not a game where you're on rails and you're kind of kind of forced to take any certain path to your destination. It's pretty much open, open and up to you. So that pretty much sums up all I have for you for the first look of Heirs of Room. Again, I've enjoyed playing the game and I would recommend checking it out if you're into survival games and in particular winter survival games. There's a few of those coming out uh, right now. I've noticed uh, this one seemed like it was the furthest developed at the time of this recording. So that's why I kind of reached out to the developer of Heirs of Room and was happy to see they granted my key request. Uh, if you want to see more gameplay of Heirs of Room, check out my Let's Play series, which should post a day or two after this video. And again, if you're interested in learning about more new and upcoming games, then you really should check out that uh, First Looks playlist on the GliderCat channel. I spend a bunch of time researching upcoming games, and I add the new ones to that playlist just about every week. So check that out. And with that, this is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.